Okay, we're going to do the COVID for... It'll be number four. Yeah, four. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the date. Okay, the July COVID update. What is today? 18th. Uh, 18th. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if my thumb was hers. All right. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Jennifer Smith. And I'm Melva Jones. And, and we, we are, are Women's Health, Health in Black, Black and White. I almost messed that up. I know. We are doing our July COVID update, and there have been some new things. The biggest thing is we're seeing a lot more cases. We went through a lovely lull where everything seemed to taper off. A lot of hospitals were celebrating discharging right. their last COVID patient. And now we're seeing an uptick that is worse, I think, than the yeah. first one. It's At least for our area. Right. Um, my hospital has 60, or had yesterday 61 positive COVID cases, which in the very beginning we had three or four. So we are seeing a huge increase in not just positives. I, I don't care how many people test positive. I really don't. Yeah. We're seeing a, a tick in sick people. Bad outcomes. Really, really sick people. And they, in Italy, published a report that there was a, what we call a novel antepartum COVID case. It means the mother was positive, she was delivered, and the baby was already positive at birth. So that was transmission through the placenta. Mm -hmm. Now that's the first time that that's been reported. That's a big deal in obstetrics. We were really worried about this. We didn't, it hadn't happened and we were thrilled. Yeah. Now it's happened. Well, it's a false sense of security. It was a false sense of security. <laughs> yes, it was. Um, it, it does seem to be exceedingly rare. We don't have a lot of reports of it happening, but we've had one, and that's put us on high alert. So we would prefer that you not get COVID-19 while you're pregnant. We would prefer that you not get COVID-19 at, at all. But definitely while you're pregnant, we would like it if you didn't get it. Uh, if you do have COVID-19 pregnant, don't panic. Treat the symptoms. And watch for exacerbations. If you're, if you find it difficult to breathe, if you uh, are are in a lot of pain, if you have really high fever, although most COVID patients don't seem to run fevers, but if you do, then you want to alert your your doctor or your midwife. But for the most part, our pregnant patients recover just fine. If you need emergency medical assistance. Go in through the emergency room. If what you're having is a COVID exacerbation, try not to go in through labor and delivery and expose all of those patients. And we really don't want you in our office. We will take care of you, of course, but we're gonna do it in the hospital. We don't want you bringing COVID into a lobby full of pregnant women. Yeah. Um, we are still at our office, at any rate, limiting visitors, and there are limiting visitors in labor and delivery. Right now, it's one support person. But if you test positive, it's no support people in labor, which is terrible, but we're trying to keep uh, transmission down yeah. as low as possible. Um, any updates from where you are? No, um, just that, uh, you know, make sure that I, I will always say, you know, call the facility just in case they have had changes like with um, the facility she's talking about now, you know, if you are positive, there will be no visitors. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's, it's not because we want you to labor long, it's just a safety thing. So, um, you know, just be prepared. Like I said, if you do have COVID, um, treat your symptoms and try not to expose other people to it as much as you possibly can. I will say that a lot of hospitals are separating positive mothers from their babies. Their babies. Yeah. And I absolutely disagree with this policy because two or three days later they're going to send that baby home, home with, with this positive right. mom. <laughs> it makes no sense at all to me to separate mom and baby and if it were me having a baby they would not separate me from my child. Mm -hmm. You can refuse anything. Yeah. Remember that. Right. I think that it is extremely important that you start breastfeeding as soon as possible yeah. if you are positive for COVID because you are giving your child all of those antibodies. Mm -hmm. So I absolutely would refuse to be separated from my child. Right. That's, That's it. That's about it. Stay safe. <laughs>